How to be enlightened. Hey there, welcome to this presentation. My name is Martin Williams. I'm an expert here. And I want to share with you on what enlightenment is and how you too can live the most amazing enlightened life. So let me start with a quick question. Do you believe you could be enlightened? And when I ask this to most people, most people answer no, because it seems like such an unreachable goal. But I'm here to tell you that, yes, it is reachable. And yes, you can do it. And yes, you can do it way faster than you think. So really, what is it? It's really a way of being in the world, but it's quite simple. It's really amazingly simple, in fact. It's actually to be happy all the time, to be so full of joy and bliss and creativity that literally nothing bothers you, so full of love that no matter what is happening around you, all your, inside, your internal space is, is joy, love, and excitement for life. It doesn't matter if your bicycle has got knocked over or your car has been in a crash, or even if something as bizarre as your house, house bur burns down, you still remain in the same space. Even, for instance, if you have financial troubles, you still just stay in that same space of, wow, what an amazing adventure life is. Now, this may seem bizarre and crazy, but in fact, it's, it is really quite, 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 quite amazing, okay? <laughs> So, and when we remain in that space of joy, what happens is that we're really unperturbed by what happens around us. We can just dance through life, enjoying everything that life brings to us. And when we're in that space, so what happens is that we become very clear. We're imbued with calmness in all our actions, and our intuition, our inner voice becomes very, very strong. And so what happens is then our wise perspectives, our inner wisdom starts expressing in the most beautiful, beautiful ways. Because we're, we're rid of other energies, we're then we're literally left with just high energy and um, really massive performance. If you look at all the enlightened people, they're performing massively in the world. Much more focused, we're healthier, we accumulate wealth easier. And it is actually way easier to achieve than we think. So one of the problems is that most of us feel trapped thinking this is not possible for me. But what I'm telling you is that, and I hope convincing you of, is that within three to six to nine months to a year, you too can start living in that space of intense freedom. It really depends on how much time and how much effort you want to put into it as to what you get, but I'm saying three, six, nine to 12 months. And if you're not experiencing a huge liberation from your other perspectives, you need to change things around. So how do we get there? I'm going to give you four tips now. And the first one is basically set a massively strong intention to live an enlightening life. So focus on that as a goal, as that as a primary goal in your life. When you do that, a whole magical thing happens. The universe seems to restructure itself around that thought. Magic happens, people come to you, situations arise that will help you out. Second tip, these are very practical now, very basic tips, is that begin your day smiling consciously. So when you wake up in the morning, take five or 10 minutes to laugh and smile. Ideally, laugh a lot in the first five or 10 minutes of the day. That then sets the whole tone for the day and radiates joy out into your future. And it dissolves negative emotions and really shifts things around. Number three is end your day in deep gratitude. Now, what I mean by deep gratitude is not the normal gratitude of, oh, I'm grateful for the nice car, I'm grateful for my job. No, gratitude for the things that we don't like, such as, oh, I had a car crash today and I'm really learned how to be calm in that crash. I really saw how I was able to be calm. And when I wasn't calm, I saw where I had to improve to be calm in the future. That's learning in gratitude. And when that gratitude becomes fulfillment. 
So in this whole process, we begin to accept all of who we are. Number four is when your emotions run high, breathe deeply. So I can't stress this enough that anytime we're triggered, as soon as we change our breathing patterns with our consciousness, we shift the energies in our, in our bodies. So breathing deeply creates massive shift in our bodies. And so each disturbance in our energetic field, each time we get remotely upset, we get triggered, we get upset, we get grumpy, that's an opportunity to breathe deeply, observe, and shift. And so in that whole process, what we do, we end up creating ease in the chaos. Big patterns of our responses and really develop new patterns of response. Okay, so I know this is all easier said than done. These four tips sound very simple, but it's not quite that easy. But I'm going to give you two more things that will help you out. First of all, I'm going to offer you a free meditation. So send me a note and I'll record a meditation specifically for you to solve a problem in your life. And um, this is quite easy to do. Just send me an email and I'll respond to you. And that'll really help you out. It'll shift perspectives and really change your life. Then the second thing I can do is if you're interested, you can also come to me for coaching. So I work one-on-one -on -one with people, helping them um, reach that space of enlightenment. Oh, sorry, one other tip here, I forgot. Um, you, I said, really suggest you look on YouTube and watch for enlightened masters, enlightenment, enlightened teachers, and review all the different teachers and see who you're attracted to. And just um, check out a bunch of them and then decide who, uh, who attracts you, then really follow them with great intensity, okay? I suggest um, Paramahamsa Nityananda, Osho, Isha, Amma. There are some of the ones, and there's many, many more. I'm not naming all the North American teachers that are available to you as well. So, again, to enlightenment coaching. This is really what I specialize in is that I work with people really in seven steps to success. So we start off looking at the vision and the goals and getting those goals to live an enlightening life deeply implanted into the cellular memory so that that becomes your way of being. Then each one of us has a core strength, core qualities around calmness, clarity, quietness, intuition, excitement, enthusiasm that we work and develop when we nurture. So they become the dominant forces in your body. That enthusiasm, that love of life, they become dominant over any other thought forms you might have. That then that then upgrades your your wealth thinking, your health thinking, and your thinking about relationships. When you're coming from that space of enthusiasm, all of a sudden all those change. And when we strategize actions and then ultimately end up mastering your maximum expansion in the world. So who am I? And how could I be doing this? Well, my background is for many years I led expeditions around the world. And in fact, I'm the first person to lead expeditions to the North Pole, South Pole, and Everest. And then ran on to run a bunch of companies, probably seven or eight different companies I bought and sold, including I started the first airline in Antarctica and did many other ventures. Then moved into the field of, of youth empowerment. From all my experiences working with millionaires and billionaires, I saw that we really have to work with youth to get them motivated and inspired. So then I came with a project that ended up with 60 million youth taking environmental action. Um, after that, I then went off and studied enlightenment. I thought this has to be even more to our human potential. So I went off and studied enlightenment in India, then ended up teaching monks in India and teaching around the world. So really, that's who I am. Then I've worked with many well-known people in North America uh, in the adventure field, people such as um, Neil Armstrong, first guy on, on, on the moon, Sir Edmund Hillary, the first guy on Everest, and then in the spiritual and enlightenment field, Harv Eker, who has, uh, he is well known for his, his work in, as the, the master of en enlightenment and wealth in North America. Many personal consultations with people who I've worked with over the years. So, what's at risk for you? Okay, so you can go on living your normal life and um, 
if you do that, you're probably going to spend half a million dollars or more on products that make you feel better by the time you're 65. Um, and in that whole process, you're probably going to have emotional mood swings, so you may get depression, procrastination, worry, lack of creativity, loss of meaning of life. And if we don't move to enlightenment, what's the relationship cost? Well, you may carry upsets for friends and family members that could last for years, last your whole life. And many, many side effects of not living an enlightened life, including lack of wealth. So the, all those other patterns cause um, things such as bing, binge spending, um, spending on excess items, all sorts of things like that are created when we're not fully in our power. So what's the cost of coaching? Well, there is time. You need to spend about 30 minutes a day, and then twice a week you have 30-minute sessions with me where we go in detail on what's, what's expanding you, what's bothering you, and tools and techniques to turn everything around so that we're in constant expansion. But it's also a financial feat too. It's, it's um, 400 a month for that. And the results, well, I'm, I'm really guaranteeing that you'll feel an increase in happiness, in your wealth, in your health, in your love, and the quality of your relationships, or your money back. So there we go. But again, well, contact me at Enlightenment How and see if I can be of service of you. If not, if you don't like what I have to offer, then please, please, please go on YouTube and check out all the different teachers there on enlightenment and see who you like, okay? Again, thanks so much for checking this out. I appreciate the time you've taken and hope to hear from you soon. See you.